It is not excluded that death of Iranian president is related to the internal struggle for power. The Turkish newspaper Hurriyet writes that the death of Iranian president Ibrahim Raisi may be related to the internal struggle for power in this country. On May the 19th, a helicopter carrying President Ibrahim Raisi, Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian and other officials crashed in the Verzegan region of northwestern Iran. They perished. It is noted in the publication that due to the age of the current supreme religious leader Ali Khamenei, there is a struggle for power in the religious leadership in Iran. Raisi was part of the delegation to elect the religious leader and was one of the strongest candidates for that post. However, the group gathered around the religious leader wants to see Mujtaba Khamenei, the son of Ali Khamenei, in this position, the newspaper wrote. In the case of the helicopter crash, the focus is on Raisi, but Foreign Minister Hossein Abdullahian was considered one of the important figures of the Iranian regime. He was one of the presidential candidates after Raisi. If there was a conspiracy against him, it means killing two birds with one stone. The author emphasizes, Hurriyet draws attention to why the Iranian president was given a helicopter with insufficient equipment. On the contrary, the best equipped helicopters should have been reserved for the president. If the weather conditions were dangerous for helicopters to fly, why did they take the president there? asks Abdul Qadir Selvi, a columnist close to government circles. According to him, the emergency locator transmitter device installed on military and civil aircraft and helicopters not only allows for monitoring the movement in the air, but is considered indispensable during landing and takeoff at airports. The emergency locator transmitter device that provides satellite tracking is also available on ships. The only exception is that pilots can turn it off to avoid detection in planes used by special services. Services. So why wasn't he in the helicopter carrying the president? Was the president even transported in a helicopter without an emergency locator transmitter device? As a result of the accident of the helicopter carrying the president of Iran, all the passengers in the helicopter were killed. Iran's mayor state agency reported on this with reference to the chairman of the Red Crescent Society, Pir Yusein Kalavan. Along with President Ibrahim Raisi, Minister of Foreign Affairs Huzian Amir Abdullahian, Governor of East Azerbaijan Province Malik Rimadi, Imam of Tabriz Muhammad Ali Al Hashim were in the helicopter. There were nine people in the helicopter together with the crew members. The bodies of those killed in the helicopter crash involving Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi have been sent to Tabriz, the Red Crescent said. The search operation is reported to be completed. The helicopter carrying Razi crashed near the city of Verzigan not far from the Iran-Azerbaijan border. All passengers and crew of the presidential helicopter died in the crash. The Iranian government has stated that the death of President Ibrahim Razi will not affect the work of the cabinet of ministers. Below is a brief outline of what Iran's constitution says happens when a president is incapacitated or dies in office. If a president dies in office, Article 131 of the Islamic Republic's constitution says that the first vice president, who is Muhammad Mokbar, takes over, with the confirmation of the supreme leader, who has the final say in all matters of state in Iran. A council consisting of the first vice president, the speaker of parliament and the head of the judiciary must arrange an election for a new president within a maximum period of 50 days. Raisi was elected president in 2021 and, under the usual timetable, a presidential election had been due to take place in 2025. Under constitutional rules, it can now be expected to take place by early July. <laughs> اینجا که میبینید دقیقا محل سقوط این بالگردیه که متاسفانه اینجا سقوط کرده دقیقا این محل سقوطش این خود بالگرده که سقوط کرده و الان جدار اینجا تصاویرشو میبینیم این تصاویر توسط پهپات های جمعیت الال احمر که جز داوطلبین ما هستن تهیه شده و الان داریم اینجا شما میبینیم که متاسفانه بالگرد به این سبک به این شکل تو منطقه سقوط کرده دوستان خیلی زحمت کشیدن 
به لحظه بودن که بتونن این تصاویر رو ضبط بکنن سپاسگزارم از همه کسانی که